Hello everybody, welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we're doing your daily reading for Thursday, June 10th, 2021. So this is just going to be a little bit different than your normal daily reading. We are in the solar eclipse, this new moon in Gemini. Very, very, very strong energy that's coming out with this. And of course, if anyone's starting, if anyone's doing any kind of manifestation, uh, this is really where you do set your intentions, write things down. Very, very magical time. Communication is very important uh, in this uh, solar eclipse as well. Some of you feel it a little bit stronger than others, but it certainly is a great big energetic upgrade. So um, I was, uh, I was contemplating doing. A full, uh, a full spread of, um, you know, new moon readings, uh, solar eclipse readings for each astrological sign. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have time, and um, so I'm just going to turn your daily into a solar eclipse reading. So let's get started. So let's get right into the energy. So first card out. Let's see energy. What do we need to know for this new moon, this solar eclipse? Thank you. So, new moon intention, and we have peace. I'm just going to pull them all, and then we'll go a little bit deeper. All right. Why is this your intention? And we've got confidence coming out. How can you incorporate this intention into your life? And we've got disruption. And the outcome or lesson from this new moon phase, and we have fear. That doesn't mean you're going to be living in fear, okay? <laughs> so first and foremost, uh, this is lovely. Find your peace. Find your, what makes you feel comfortable? What makes you feel um, at peace with yourself, with your world, with your home, your career, right? Inner peace, enlightenment comes with this. So, you know, uh, sometimes, sometimes if we get caught up in, you know, manifestation or, you know, the moon energies, quite often we're thinking about what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? And, you know, it's money or it's jobs or it's homes or it's love, right? But sometimes we forget about finding our inner peace and finding our, um, you know, finding our happy place, right? And, you know, it's, it's really a beautiful energy uh, that comes out here. I mean, we do have a beautiful uh, little dove here holding a little olive branch, right? So not only is it about peace within ourselves, but perhaps there's uh, someone around you that you're looking to find some peace with, right? Some forgiveness, some healing energy to really kind of calm things down a little bit. Is there something that's been plaguing you? Something that you've been thinking of? It's been weighing heavily on your mind. And now is the time to um, either find peace, healing, forgiveness within yourself. It could also be that you might want to reach out to somebody and, you know, and kind of make your peace with, um, with that person. And, you know, finding your peace doesn't necessarily always mean forgiveness. Sometimes it can be about closure, right? And so something to just uh, almost like the judgment card energy and just something, uh, something that brings you um, a resolution to something. And it's really very, um, you know, it's again, something that, something that we forget about right? Because we're always thinking about what we want materialistically, right? But really, when we're at peace, okay, and we find closure, we find a way forward, that's when we can clear our energy and embrace anything new properly that we're trying to attract in. And <laughs> I love this. It looks like kind of, looks like you should be on like a t-shirt or something. Um, but why? Why would you want that to be your new moon intention? Well, it might build some confidence, all right, because sometimes, sometimes when we're releasing something, it can actually have a very, um, you know, a very huge impact on our confidence because there could even be something, you know, maybe there was a train of thought, something from your past that it has just been niggling away at you and, you know, it's kind of been holding you back, holding you down. 
confidence really is the key when you're at peace with yourself, when you've made amends, when you've gotten your closure on something that has been holding you back, your self-confidence really does um, get a huge, huge energetic boost. And that card's so happy. Um, <laughs> so you really do get a massive energetic boost within you, right? And, you know, it just really, it's a, it's a very kind of harmonious uh, energy there when we've got that. So, um, you know, how can you incorporate this in your, in your daily life? I'm just going to put that down because that's going to fall over, I think. So I need to get myself another pillar, I think. Um, so how can you incorporate this, uh, intention into your life? Um, get rid of anything that's destructive. All right. What is disrupting your energy? What is, um, eating away at your thoughts? What is, um, picking away at your self-confidence, right? And when we get rid of disruption and, and distraction, that's when we can find our peace. So, you know, um, you know, when we, uh, how do I want to say that? Um, what is disturbing you? What is disrupting you from finding your path forward, from making your manifestations come true, from making positive change into your life, from finding love, finding a job, finding that inner peace, right? Anything that is disrupting that. So incorporate that peace into your life, right? Find that peace, okay? If you work with somebody, perhaps, that really does kind of eek, eek away, eat away at you all day, right? Maybe they're just very ornery, they're difficult to deal with and they do cause an energetic disruption within you, all right, find a way to cut that off. Find a way to be at peace with that. That person's not going to change. Um, they may not necessarily be uh, targeting you, for example, all right, it just might be who they are. And sometimes you can't change that. So find the way, find a way to be at peace with that, okay, or make peace with that person. And that's just one example, right? So um, this really kind of is a call to have a look at things um, in your day to day life and figure out what is causing a disturbance in the force, all right, what is really uh, causing you to lose focus and, um, you know, and prevent you from making positive change. All right. And, you know, your outcome energy in this is fear. Let go of fear. When you embrace confidence, you let go of fear. What scares you? What, uh, you know, is it walking through this door? Is it change, right? Is it a fear of change? Is there something from your past that is making you fearful, right? Is there something from your past that's disturbing your self-confidence, right? And when we have this, this is the ability. When you let go, you find your peace, you get your confidence, you can face your fears and you can move forward. And, you know, it's like, conquering your fear and it's a really very uplifting um, energy and of course whenever we have a self-confidence boost that's really what that is right so face your fear do it anyway look fear in the eye and say no I may fail at something that I really try and do but I'm not going to face I'm not going to lose to my fear I'm not going to lose to my doubt my confidence right so face that fear and when you have confidence you have the ability to do that all right, so let's pull some, ooh, let's pull some tarot. <clears throat> so let's just clarify these energies. Thank you. So under the peace, we've got the lovers, all right? Harmony. Confidence is clarified by the Hierophant. Uh-huh. Disruption, we've got the world. And fear, we've got the four of wands. Wow. Okay, let's just say how significant this is. I've got four cards. Three of them are major arcana. So peace, clarified by the lovers. Harmony, balance, unity. This is the energy of Gemini, and we are in the new moon in Gemini, solar eclipse in Gemini. Okay, so this is really the time to come into balance, come into harmony with any relationship in your life, including friends, uh, co-workers, people, people from your past, people from your present, energy from your past, energy from your present, but number one, most important, your higher self. You're being guarded, you're being guided by your angels, okay, to elevate your vibration, to find your peace. What puts you in balance? What puts you in harmony? And that's really what the lover's card is about. It is soulmate energy, all right, but 
we are, we, we, uh, how do I want to say that? <clears throat> you in your human form and your higher self, you are attached. You are soulmates as well, right? So you need to be in balance, in harmony with your, your higher self in order to make positive change, find your peace, build upon your self-confidence and move forward. So it really is a beautiful energy. And, you know, you may be looking at it going, oh, that's just a coincidence. No, it's not. It's really meant to have been doing this long enough. And, uh, you know, it's um, the, the cards want to say what they want to say. I could literally have thrown these cards on the table, 52 pickup kind of thing, although there's 78. But, um, you know, I could have done that and pulled out the cards. And you know what? The messages still would have been the same, right? Um, so really, uh, really very uh, powerful messages for you. All right. And then confidence is clarified by the Hierophant. Believe in yourself. The Hierophant is a energy of higher knowing, higher knowledge. It's also one, um, I mean, it is known as the marriage card. This is Taurus energy. Okay. But be in union, in union with yourself. This is an energy of belief. Ultimately, it is about belief, tradition. Sometimes we need to break tradition in order to find our confidence, right? So is there something that traditionally you have done that you need to release so that you can um, be true to yourself, be true to who you are? It is a spiritual energy when we get the Hierophant sometimes, all right? But what do you believe in? Be true to yourself, be true to your beliefs, be true to who you are, and then you can make powerful change to move forward. All right. And you know, how do we incorporate this in our daily life? Disruption, the world, find your closure. What cycle do you need to shut down? What energy do you need to uh, shut down? Right. We'll go back to, let's say you're working with a, a coworker who is just really difficult to deal with their energy draining, shut it down. Right. And it doesn't mean you need to walk away, but you just need to find a different way of dealing with that person. So um, when we have the world, this is a reminder that, um, you know, in that this is the end of a cycle and you're ready to take that next step forward. Right. You've learned everything that you can learn. All right. And now it's time to move forward in, um, you know, setting something new, starting something new. And whether it's a new belief system, whether it's a new self-confidence, uh, a new era of peace, move forward with really high vibe intentions. Okay. And you know, anything that causes you disturbance, disruption with this world card, this is reminding you that you have the ability to shut it down and to move forward. And even if you still have to deal with something day to day, you can leave their energy behind, you can detach from it, and you can move on and not let that affect you and how you move forward with your life. All right. And your outcome, when you face your fear, what do you have? Celebration, abundance, joy, the four of wands. Uh, this is an energy of having a firm foundation, all right, and uh, moving forward. It is a higher level of commitment card quite often. So be committed to your next phase, right? Um, trust in your foundation, trust in yourself and be able to move forward, right? Follow your dreams. What makes you happy? What gives you, what gives you cause to celebrate, right? And this is really trusting in that and, you know, walking through this portal, walking through this door, right? The 1111 card, soul path, new beginnings. All right. Very powerful. So <clears throat> you have the ability to do that where there is darkness. You have the ability to turn it into light. What holds you back? You have the ability to embrace it and move forward. Okay. So really very powerful messages for you guys. So am I taking those? No, thank you. All right. So let's just pull a few more cards to close out your reading. I don't want this to go too, too long. So what else do we need to know about this solar eclipse, this new moon in Gemini? What else do we need to know, please? So we have resilience. All right. No matter what you, no matter what phase of your life you're in, no matter what you need to release, no matter what you need to embrace, 
all right, you are ultimately resilient. You have the power to, you know, carry the world on your shoulders, on your back, and keep moving forward. If life has you down, you have the ability to release something and lift yourself back up. You have the power to change. You have the power to move forward, set your intentions, set your goals, give something back that is not yours right? This looks really heavy. Okay. So what is it that's not yours? What is this burden that you might need to let go of, right? A little bit different for everybody. And while you have the ability to, you know, move forward and carry them, they still hold you back and weigh you down, right? So, um, <clears throat> you know, that's a reminder that you have that ability to move forward. But if you need to put something down, don't be afraid of putting something down. And we'll get another one and we have fruition. Oh, I love that. All right. Um, you have the ability to manifest all your dreams, make your dreams come true. How do you make those come into fruition, right? This is a time of abundance and this is a time of achieving your goals, your desires, right? And I love this. She's got a head, head full of fruit. And, um, you know, so, uh, you know, and this is, this is the harvest moon. This is the full moon. So, you know, you really do have the ability to make all of your dreams come true and you just need to um, make sure you know what you want okay make peace get rid of any negativity and move forward right so um, the new moons are where we set our intentions and our full moons is when we release things right and we just trust that in these cycles that things really will happen for us and this these things really will um, you know, come to, well, fruition. <laughs> okay. So, um, really, very positive, uh, really very positive energy there. And the harvest moon is the harvest moon is in September. Okay. So between now and September is a really, really powerful time for you to make positive change, to manifest things, to take action on opportunities that come towards you. And because sometimes manifestation actually comes in the form of a wonderful opportunity, right? And that is up to us to take that opportunity and to move forward with it. Okay. So um, you know, pay attention to things that may come your path. It may come into your path. Pay attention to things that, you know, aren't necessarily what you have exactly manifested, but they may be an opportunity, a stepping stone to get you there. Because quite often, um, quite often the universe sends us what we need when we need it, which doesn't match when we want it necessarily. But sometimes we get something better. So if we're a little too focused on something within a box, right, this is exactly what I want. I don't want anything different than that. But sometimes if we're really, really structured, right, remember the Hierophant is about tradition, is about beliefs, but sometimes it is also about releasing some things that we have believed in. All right, so be open to new opportunities because the Hierophant is also an energy of higher learning as well. Okay, so we learn things about ourselves, we learn things in our life, but sometimes we learn to look outside that box and to be open to opportunities that don't necessarily present themselves exactly as what we think that we want. Because quite often, again, we get something a little bit better. So always trust your intuition, always trust your instincts, okay? Believe in yourself. So let's just get the final cards here for you. And we have your commitment is being tested. All right. So what are you committed to? Sometimes when our commitment is tested, it's not just, um, you know, our commitment to, uh, to uh, something that we're trying to achieve. Okay. Sometimes it's our commitment to our path and ourselves and where we want to go. And when your commitment is being tested, sometimes, you know, this resilience energy, it's like, whew, kind of holding you down a little bit, but it is that energy to keep on going, keep on moving. And, you know, sometimes we get a monkey wrench thrown in to our day, into our life there. And it's sometimes to, because we need to learn a lesson, right? And it's like, oh, the universe is always making me learn lessons, right? And yeah, sometimes it is. Okay. But it's actually part of our growth and part of our cycle of where we need to go. So every challenge is actually a blessing. And when we think about things like that, things become easier to bear, right? And, you know, it's sometimes, yes, life is about 
it feels like taking two steps two steps forward and one step backwards and sometimes it's just like woof it things just really happen wonderful and there's no obstacles along the way and we just get to the finish line and sometimes things work out that way but more often than not we are presented with challenges and tests along the way and sometimes that can you know um hurt our self confidence sometimes that can disrupt um our energy and disrupt our path right but every disruption um, you know, every disruption or challenge could be an opportunity to learn. It can also be an opportunity to course correct. So, um, you know, so look at those challenges, look at those interruptions, those obstacles, just a little bit differently instead of saying, oh my God, why is this happening to me again, right? Have a look at it and say, what can I learn from this? Is this here for a reason? And when you actually mindful of something like that, you actually have the ability to look at things a little bit differently. And when you look at things a little bit differently, um, a world of opportunity opens up for you, right? Because you have the ability to deal with things in a more positive way as a learning experience, perhaps. And it's not always easy to do, especially if you feel as though you've got a monkey on your back, right? It's really not easy to do sometimes when you're really feeling down, down and heavy and down in the dumps and as though nothing is working for you. But honestly, it's really about taking back control. When you turn those challenges instead of why is this happening to me and look at it as why is it happening for me, you really take back control. It's very self-empowering. And it takes a little bit of practice, especially if you're feeling really down, really down on yourself, feeling as though you can't move forward and nothing's working out for you. And it's a challenge to embrace that. But when you do, and when you're mindful of those things that come up in your path, then you're taking back your control and you are more of co-creating your experiences with the universe rather than butting heads. Okay, so and let's get your final card. You're very close to achieving your goal. Look at that, another full moon there. Okay, um, and uh, it's actually not quite a full moon. It's a gibbous moon, but you are very close to achieving your goal. Okay, so stay the course, stay the path. Um, know what you want, right? Is there something that you need to release, let go, find some closure, something from the present, the past, right? Face your fears. There's something that's holding you back because you're very close to achieving your goal and we already have resilience, okay? Things may be hard, all right? But, uh, you know, and yes, your commitment may be being tested, okay? But that's an opportunity to have another closer look, but very much like this fruition energy that's here. And you're very close to achieving your goal. So believe in yourself, have confidence in yourself. You can move forward and you can achieve whatever it is that you um, want to achieve. But again, look at things a little bit differently. Look at things in a more positive light, even something that is totally negative, right? Flip the script on that and take back that control and keep moving forward, all right? So I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Okay, so I really hope there was something in here that resonated with you, gave you a little bit of inspiration guidance. Um, if so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope you guys have a fabulous solar eclipse. Hopefully you can see it where you are because um, it's really supposed to be spectacular. It's supposed to be like the ring of fire that's around it. So hopefully you're fortunate enough. I don't think I will where I am, but, um, you know, but if you do see it, oh God, good. That's awesome. Okay. So um, I'm going to leave that there though. Okay. But I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.